with a mental toolbox that you can use yourself. You can dip into it now. It's not just curative for helping you right now with issues that you have and disturbances. It's also preventative. So if you feel yourself going somewhere to that dark place in the future, um, you can take a book set. You can take your self-help worksheets. Uh, you can work them. And you can live your life with CBT. Any questions? Where does it actually come from? Is it, is it, uh, is it being here for a long time? Or? It actually has been here for longer than one would think, but now that it's the fastest growing psychotherapy, particularly with the NHS in the UK championing it, um, it it's really, you know, it's, it's all over the place. If you look at Paul McKenna and his NLP, the core of that is actually CBT. Um, it comes from two psychiatrists who were giving Freudian psychoanalysis in the 60s and 70s. And they basically thought they weren't together, they were different locations, different guys, and they both realised, well, our clients aren't getting any better. We see them month after month, year after year, excavating their subconscious, and they came to the same conclusions, that, you know, an 80-year-old man or a 22-year-old woman had the same unhealthy negative beliefs. And when they attacked those with logic and rationale, three, four sessions, these people were able to live their lives and became very functional. So many more professionals have joined them since then. And, you know, it's a series of modalities and theories that have all come together to be CBT. But it's, it's very, very respected. It's the real deal. As I said, there are lots of therapists out there. You could go to one-to-one -one therapy, if you wish. Or it's really a very, very good psychoeducational model. This book is very famous and has had controlled studies done on it. Um, it has proved more effective than the world's best antidepressants. Just the book. Just reading the book and doing the worksheets. So, yeah, it, it's quite an amazing tool. Anything else? How does it relate to NLP, or does it? Well, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, the core of that is that you control your life with the way you think. So the core principle is the same here. But, you know, they'll use a lot of uh, hypnosis. They get really into the visualization. And they're also into language in a huge way. Like, never say don't. Ever, 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 ever. You know? And they, they've got all those kind of rules. And it's really, really interesting stuff. And it works. You know, it's wrapped in charisma and performance. A little bit of, you know, pizzazz. But it, the core is CBT. Mm. Yeah. And is CBT useful within a business sense? Hugely. Yeah. Hugely. I mean, you know, we, we took the presentation as an example there. Mm. But who doesn't want to not have any anxieties or worries about something. Who wants to be able to focus, not procrastinate, to, you know, to have the highest self-esteem you can, uh, not to, you know, self-defeating thought loops that just go round and round and round. You know, you can learn to thought stop, attack your inner critic, uh, and actually rewire your brain with new healthy automatic thoughts so that you actually don't get those old thoughts anymore. You've stopped them. Now, it takes work over and over, but it works, literally works. Is there a certain age group, like if there's somebody in their 60s and they, have, they want to make some changes, is, is, is it harder for them? Like the old it's not, in fact, and that's what was really interesting with the founding fathers. Um, yeah, they, they really discovered that an 80-year-old man or the 20-year-old woman, as I said, might have the same issues and have the same response to this kind of intervention and therapy. Um, yeah, we can change our thinking. You know, we can literally change it. Neuroplasticity, neuroscientists have made huge leaps and strides. And they've discovered our automatic thoughts are actually imprinted in our brains with neural pathways. And we can rewire and overwrite that with new pathways. So our automatic thoughts are not, I can't do it. They're, ooh, this is exciting, I'm going to have a go. You know, and, and that sounds very simple. And the work is a little harder than that, but that's pretty much it. So I think we've reached our time limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you everybody.